Hey, what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video. And it's been a while since I've watched at the build of, of Windows 10. Because, well, from this uh, Redstone 4, there wasn't so many new features and so many new changes. So I didn't deserve to make a video, but, well, today I'm gonna show you the new build, which is 17074, which this build actually works pretty okay. And also brings some new changes, which I'm going to show you right now. One thing that I love that Microsoft is working on is on all this transparency thing. Um, this transparency, they maybe were, weren't changed on this build, but since I didn't do like a video on a, on a build since long time, I'm gonna show you how it's the transparency uh, in the Redstone 4. Uh, so you can see here in the left corner, there is a lot of transparency. Here's also some changes, but you can see them because it's in the white background. So if you're gonna change to the dark team, uh, let's go with dark team and go home. You can see all these uh, effects which are really nice. Now, for example, uh, if I go into normal, if I go into normal, then you can't really see them. And go in personalization, you see there is no transparency as well. Let's go into color as well. And if I go into dark, home, and you have some effect, but not that much. While here you have pretty cool effect, in fact. Another change that uh, they've made, they added, let's go into full screen. Uh, they've added, if you go into system, they've added quiet hours which quiet hours i think it should have been here since day one because when i'm playing a game which i'm doing many times i don't really want to have any notifications or like many people had like back in the days where someone is playing a game or streaming a game and then all of a sudden he gets a, uh, a windows installation or he gets like a pop-up uh, and then the game minimizes. It happened to me so many times. Okay, so another thing that I that they modified, which I saw, is here the task view. So when you press on the task view, you get now this uh, more polished UI, and as well get some news earlier today. Open here uh, File Explorer. When you press on the task view, it shows you the task you have opened, and then the news. Uh, you can see here that at the right you have also like now and the earlier which overall it's really it's much better this uh, this way let me show you on the old one for example uh, let's open here the task the file explorer and if i press on task view you get like this simple which like this simple is also fine but well uh, the other the other way it's definitely better and more modern another thing that they modified is let me close my camera here because you're not gonna be able to see so pre previously you get here on the start menu, you get the power button, the settings, and then your profile. Now you can add more options here. So go into settings, uh, all settings, uh, not system, not system. Go in personalization, then start. And then here you have choose which folders appear on start. Let's actually minimize this one. So you can see uh, there, there is settings already. Uh, there are other options, which the options are, aren't like unlimited or you can't really choose whatever you want. Just these uh, basic options, but still it's better than uh, the, only, the only three that we have now, which we can't really change them. So for example, I add File Explorer and now the File Explorer is here. I can add all of them and they will be all here. So I really like this new addition. I wish they would uh, let me keep downloads and uh, file explorer because i use file explorer a lot and downloads as well so i wish they could add here an, op an option as well which you could add your own folder uh, but well maybe that in the future and now lastly edge browser well edge ha has got some tweaks uh, like in every build and now they added more uh, tweaks, uh, which now you can see as well here the transparency and the effects that are on the whole system, uh, which previously you see here when I move the mouse, uh, it's really cool. And uh, for example, when I move the mouse, it shows re this really cool animation while previously, let's switch to previously and I forgot about my camera, which previously if I move the mouse, it shows only these squares, uh, gray squares, but now it's uh, definitely more modern and makes a lot more sense with the whole 
a new one update and with the whole transparency things. Of course, they changed a bit the icons, they make them a bit, a bit smaller and stuff like that, but not really important. Uh, here as well, when you press on the hamburger menu, this menu it's much smaller than previously. Let me show you previously as well because previously it was pretty damn big. So when I open it, like it's so damn big. You see here how big it is and here it's so small. And another thing that I love that I changed on this Edge browser is when you go in your hub, in your favorites, uh, you have here a much better hub. Uh, for example, in your, you can see your history more, like bigger, your downloads. And what I like a lot is here in the books, you see uh, some books, which if you press on these books, it will take you to the store to download them. Uh, also, these books, you can as well read them directly on the browser now. So you don't really need a third party ebook reader. Oh, I can preview them. Let's preview it. And if you preview it, then it will take you to the browser and you can read the book uh, directly on your browser. So you don't really need a third party application to read your ebooks. You see here as well when I move when I move my mouse at the top to close the tab, you see all these effects, uh, which is definitely much better. And like I've said, it makes more sense with the whole system with the whole new one uh, update. Well, overall, these are more or less the, the changes. And maybe I didn't cover all the changes, but uh, just to give you a look on how the next version of Windows will look, which definitely is an improvement from what we have now. Uh, I really like the new, the whole new effects, the whole new transparency thing. Uh, and even in here in the browser, like I've said, this is probably the best change so far, which is definitely an improvement. But overall, let me guys know in the comments what you think about this build, what you think about the changes so far and hopefully there will come any more changes so i can make more videos and more reviews on builds like this but anyway thank you guys for watching see you in the next one